Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Checking in on natural gas, NGZ 2016, we have now seen six green days in a row, and what stands out to me is the decreasing bull volume on this move on this move so we can see the bulls want to see an increase in bull volume on a breakout like we saw back here when we got all the way up above 350 and we're not seeing that on this bounce so that tells me that we are likely to see a temporary top in the near term future resistance right now is 3265 and we can see we are back into all of this previous price resistance where we were trading between the upper three teens and the mid 320s back and forth lots of resistances in these levels you can see we topped out back here at 3258 appears a resistance at 335 so the bears are close to coming in in my opinion and at that point we'll look for some short-term consolidation which should be healthy at this point we're pretty overbought on some of the smaller term time frames let's look at the four hour chart and the rsi here is above 80 you can see the big upper wicks of profit taking the last three candlesticks and we will be looking for some consolidation to cool off the rsi establish a new level of support and for the bulls looking to continue to the upside but the hourly time frame what's going to give a clear indication for me we already have the bearish macd cross if we break this consolidation low of 3166 then i will be looking for a move down to fill this gap at 3105 so 3166 could see a six cent drop down to the next level if that breaks you can see we are pulling back now looking for the first two red candlesticks on the hourly time frame in the past dozen hours or so so we'll see what kind of follow through the bears get to the downside definitely worth keeping an eye on dgas for a short term day play tomorrow we closed very weak no sign of the bulls i certainly would not be swinging this position overnight because we have no signal of a bullish reversal candlestick just knowing, seeing the start of some signs here and seeing the potential that DGAS will form a bullish reversal candlestick tomorrow. And I keep an eye on that four hour chart. If we do see that bearish MACD cross and a loss of some key supports, and we're actually not even that close to the bearish MACD cross, it was the RSI I was thinking of. If we see that RSI cool off from 80, then we will be looking for further downside. Bearish reversal inverted hammer. Red candlestick over the next four hours will confirm that. So the bulls have the trend over the past week, but short-term consolidation, which would be healthy for the bulls, it's certainly necessary after such a strong move, is likely coming in the short term. And we'll be keeping an eye on DGAS tomorrow for a potential day trade, maybe a swing trade if we do close week. But as of right now, I wouldn't be confident in either position right now, you guys or DGAS. I'd be all cash and waiting to see how it plays out heading into tomorrow with my eye on DGAS. We'll check back in and see how it plays out. I appreciate you watching. Have a great night.